City of San Juan at 6 p.m. At this time, can we rise for invocation? Mr. Arjona, can you lead us, sir? Bow our heads. Dear Father, we thank you for the opportunity to go over this day. May everything we do begin with, with your inspiration and continue with your help. We ask for your guidance throughout this meeting, that all of our thoughts and actions reflect your holy will, and that you will grant us the grace to make the best decision for our city. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I for the Pledge of Allegiance. This time under public comments, we have uh, Atredo Mata Jr. This was an email sent from him today at 12.41 p.m. Is there an Alfredo Mata Jr. present? No? Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Fung. Good evening, uh, Mayor, Commissioners, Attorney, Staff, Community. Uh, the first item on the agenda, Mayor, is our presentations, uh, which is presentation on departmental reports. Uh, tonight we have the Department of Planning and Zoning, Department of Parks and Recreation, San Juan Memorial Library, and the Department of Sanitation. I believe everybody's here, ready, available, so you, you have any questions. Okay. Any questions for any of the directors? Mayor, if I may. Go ahead, sir. Um, Mr. Escobar, on your report, you mentioned uh, per two, I guess, citations or violations regarding uh, conducting business in a residence. And, and I'm wondering if, if that one includes the one that uh, was cutting hair off of Sonny. Was it Sonny? Sonny, sir. And yet, uh, but I think it might be. I'm not too sure if it's for this report or the one coming up next, but. Has been addressed, yes. Yes. I know because we're still getting phone calls. Yeah. On on, and and when you mean by by, by address, at what stage are we at right there? I mean, has it been? Sent the letter uh, to the resident. We okay. Sent two letters uh, the last couple months, and we already sent it to the court. Okay. Then from there, it's a process with the court. So the court has to create the the court date and send them letters to appear. At court. Okay, but they've been notified in as well. Uh, the residents or the residents. Well, they haven't been notified because the court has to send the letter to them. They have to. Hand deliver it. Okay, so they haven't gotten that from the yeah. courts yet. Yeah. Okay. But the court already We're has receiving a lot of calls on that. Yeah, so. the court already has the order from us that we sent it to them. We already sent uh, the it's in a document that we have to send to the court. And I understand it's hard because we send some people out there sometimes and and uh, mm -hmm. code enforcement or whatever it may be, and nothing's visible. But yet, you know, the, the you know. Send the letter. Um, when they go to court, then they can do all, they can discuss that with the judge, and the judge can decide. Okay. If, it, if there's any, uh, you know, violation, and they can either fine them or, you know, dismiss it or, or postpone. It just depends on the judge. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, my next question, Mayor, okay. uh, Mr. Willingham. I know that I had mentioned or I had, had asked regarding the the Liberty Park flagpole, uh, and then you you had mentioned that it had come down and you were looking into replacing it. Any chance that it'll get? Um, they've replaced it with a statue, a small statue of Liberty. That's that's what it's being replaced with for now. Yes, and it's still that park. Uh, we maintain it. However, it's still under uh, Mr. Sean's. I guess he still takes care of it. As far as the structures, we maintain the grounds, keep everything clean. Um, he he would like to replace it with another flagpole in in the future. He just wanted something more manageable. Something that the one that was there was just too hard to to handle, get up and down. Yes, yes. I mean, unless he gives it to us, and then at that point, once he deeds it over to us, right. at that point, it becomes ours, and we will make the decision, or the, the commission will make the decision as what as far as what they want to do. Uh, he first replaced it with an eagle, but then that was replaced with a, a smaller Statue of Liberty. So that will be for now until he lets us know. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Go ahead, go ahead, Mr. Mr. Garza, how do we do with the tires? Wow. Um, and my other question about fumigation, thank you. I've uh, been getting comments from parents, uh, residents that uh, they saw the truck fumigating, so hopefully they go away. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Yeah. One more. 
Okay. I have a couple, I guess, more uh, of a comment. Um, I know you already answered my first question in regards to the outfield, the grass out there. You talked about the, the getting a demo cut. Okay. And now as far as will you have some of your guys out there as well to see how, the, as far as getting trained, the proper way to cut the, the, the grass and all that stuff? going to show us two different machines. Uh -huh. um, they do pretty much the same job. They just have different uh, details to them. But uh, whichever one we decide to go with, um, our vendor will post the training for those that will be using the machinery. So when, he's, when you say two different machines, are you talking about uh, two, two different style of machines or you're talking about uh, a new machine and a, a used machine? Okay. Still mower cut, and there's another one, a new, more advanced rotary mower. One's a little bit more maintenance, one's a little less maintenance, and they'll come out and explain us all the details to it and uh, their suggestions. And then, of course, they'll cut and show us the job each of us does. Uh, they're telling us they're very comparable, so. Good thing. My next thing, too, uh, Mr. Willingham, is uh, obviously, you know, like I've I stated in the in the past that the city of San Juan is going to be the first municipality with turf fields. I know that the high schools, you know, they have, they got turf as well, but as far as municipalities, I know we're the first ones. Am I, am I correct? As far as this, I know, yes. Yeah, okay. The second thing is, you know, you having, you and other coaches that you surround yourself with have this great network being a former college player. Um, you know, there's something that I would like to do maybe in the future, maybe for next summer, is that reaching out to some of these uh, junior colleges, maybe Division threes, twos, and have a, a tryout for some of our high school kids at those parks. And the reason why I say that, because I know that uh, being on a sh uh, uh, showcase tournaments, traveling outside the valley is very costly. And, and I've seen that we got a lot of talent, not only in PSJ, not only in San Juan, Alamo, but in the whole Rio Grande Valley. And this would be a good opportunity for these kids to come that don't have that luxury to travel outside the valley to show their talent to a lot of these coaches out here. And that's something that we may shoot. We should shoot for next summer, okay? So if you can just put that down and... And, and, and just, you know, keep that in mind. I think that would be a great idea. You know, we got the fields now, you know, so. One of the goals for this summer, of course, that kind of being postponed till next summer was to increase our athletic camp capacity in the city is offering more of the specific sport camp to our kids. Um, along with what uh, you mentioned would be the next step. And even though we didn't get to have camps this year, that will be something we shoot for, and yes, that that's perfect. Yes, no, no, it's perfect. It'll it'll fit perfect. Yeah, and 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 it gets them also. Uh, they get the experience of what a tryout is in a college level. You you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and the main and thing. Fit both for baseball and, and softball. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Baseball and softball. Right. Good deal. Thank you, Mr. William. No, I'm, I'm done with, with, with you, sir. I'm good. Thank you. Mr. Escobar, in regards to what the, the members of the commission talked about on Shawnee, um, I know the part of the process is that do you, do you submit any pictures with your findings as well? Because the reason why I'm sharing that with you, sir, is because I did get some pictures from some residents from that area that they're still conducting 
I guess, business. Okay. Okay, because I'm going to go ahead and share those. I'm going to forward them to you so that way maybe you can just add it to your file. Great. Okay. Uh, yeah, hold on. Um, also, Mr. School, I don't um, they send me pictures like the mayor. They sent some to the mayor also, but um, I get the problem was that this lady went to go knock at a different residence. She knocked at the door and she had that she was coming in for her hairdo. And the man said, no, it's not here. So she had the address and she said it was uh, the wrong address. Uh, the guy told me it's not here, it's in front of my house. So that's how they're, we know they're continuing doing uh, business along there. So hopefully, you know, hopefully we can get uh, going on on this, man. Mr. Garza, another another thing too that I just kind of wanted to comment as well is that uh, first of all, I mean, you did a tremendous job, you know, on this tire roundup. Uh, you know, you've been doing great work. I know we do it, you know, every, you know, I don't know if it's quarterly or, or you know, these these uh, events that we have for our citizens. But also another thing too, so that way you know is that I spoke to the superintendent of PSJA schools, Dr. Arredondo, and uh, I basically talked to him in, re in regards to getting the campuses for, for this event, and he brought up a good point to me. He uh, mentioned that he asked me if we had an MOU in file, and my explanation to him was back then, the previous administration, we would just notify Mr. Campos, right? And, and then you guys would just send them an email and the flyer and, and Mr. Campos would take care of that. Now that there's a new administration change, uh, we spoke and uh, he mentioned for us to maybe uh, look into drafting an MOU, Mr. Arjona and, and Garza, so that way they can, we can send it over there to the district and they can go ahead and uh, uh, put it on their agenda and maybe get it approved and then come with us, okay? Because he did ask me about that, and I was in, and my response to him was, I don't think we have an MOU on file. Am I correct? Yeah, okay. So I guess from here on out, just to, you know, uh, make sure that we, we can clear that with them. Okay? okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Garza. And my last, the last is uh, Mr. Sessi. Um, in regards to uh, the library, how or... Or is the library even promoting the census? Uh, yes. How I are got, you doing that, ma'am? I got some flyers from um, a person I've been dealing with from the census, and he sent me some flyers. We, I told Richard to send it to IT so it can be put on the website, the library website, and on Facebook. Okay. And we did that to, to promote it. Okay. Because... Um, I think the report he sent me, San Juan, uh, had responded 45% of the population Correct, in yes. San Juan. Yes. So I told him we need to do it. Mm -hmm. We need to do it. Um, what I was thinking, and I got an idea because of the food, that um, promotion that they were going to do with the food bank, that they were going to give like, I don't know, 3,000 food baskets. and. Mm -hmm they were to have census workers there mm -hmm. so that they can ask the people if you fill out the census. And if not, they were going to help them do it. So maybe we can do something like this. Yes, when correct. When the patrons come, mm -hmm. ask them, have you uh, done yeah. your census? And, and if not, we'll probably help them do it. Okay. Good. Because it's, it's in the computer. I mean, it takes just a few minutes. Yeah. You know, and, and, and the reason why I say that, because I know uh, as far as on the EDC side, working on a, a for social media, that they're going to be promoting the census very, very strongly. And uh, I think that that was something that I was kind of brainstorming yes. to see that maybe if we, as a city of San Juan, the library can set up some kind of stations for our residents and promote yes. that we are here to help them individually yes for them to come in personally and fill out the census on the system. I mean, obviously, there's three ways. You can do it by phone, the computer, and what's the other one? Um, mail, uh, mail, uh, mail, mail, mail. Yeah. 
So, you know, and, and I've talked to several residents and they're, you know, a lot of them are, you know, a little bit older and they, they're not too, you know. That'd be with a computer. Yes. yes. Now, if we can promote that we are here to help them yes. fill out the census here in our own library, yes. I think that'd be a big plus because we all know that it's, it's very important that we all get involved in the census because this is how we get funding down to our munis municipalities. I got those flyers directly person in charge of okay. the census, so. So I don't know, Mr. Hona, maybe you can get with. Uh, yeah, no, Mr. as Sessions. a matter of fact, provided the one that is spearheading the census on the yeah. city side. Okay. So that's something that we're going to be working on tomorrow as to set up uh, some stations here at the library and promoting that for those individuals that have not filled out the uh, census to come, come on over on. and it's free of service, you know. Exactly, but also, I mean, for the weekends as well. Yes, the weekends. Set up on an hour. Yeah, we're okay. open on weekends, okay. Saturday and Sunday. Great. And, Yes. And uh, what's the percentage, Mr. Escobar? Is it at 49? 49.7? We went up. We went up. Yes. We went up. It went up because we had 45. Okay. So good, good, good job. So, uh, yeah, there's always uh, room for improvement, but I think this is a way to really yes. Yes. get good. I look into that. You know, okay. I, I mean, at the meeting tomorrow, we'll, yes. we'll do discuss. that. Yeah. Okay, yes. good. Any, other, any questions from the commission? On that? We're good. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Time. Next item on the public hearing, uh, we have a hold the public hearing for a conditional use permit to allow a drive through window at Martin Drug, located 601 South Nebraska Avenue, legally described as lots 123 and 24, block 34, San Juan Original Townside Subdivision, as requested by Martin San Juan Drug Company or Corporation. North side of the building. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Good job. Okay. Let me open it up. Okay. This time I'm going to go ahead and open this up at 6.22 p.m. Is there anyone here for or against? For or against? Any questions for Mr. Escobar, members of the commission? Great. I'm going to go ahead and do you have anything to say? Here? He's, he's here. here. He made a comment? Oh. You want to, sir, you, Mr. Go, on, Doc, go up to the. And, and and so if you move it two feet, okay. okay, so let's say you don't move it at all. You're okay. You won't have to do anything to your building. Okay, so let's just go ahead and leave it like that. Yeah. Just where he wants it. Okay? And that was my next question to you because I don't think it says. Yeah, no. We'll just leave it as this. Okay? With that, we'll go ahead and close that up. I'll go ahead and close that at 6.24 p.m. I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve as is. It's been second. second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Next item, Mayor, uh, under discussion and possible selection on all the following matters. We have discussion and possible selection to select the most qualified firm to assist the city with the preparation of the American Water Infrastructure Act, Act Risk and Resilience Assessment an emergency response plan and authorize the city manager to negotiate and execute an agreement and budget amendment as needed. Okay. At this time, I'm just going to go ahead and ask the members of commission that we table this item for the simple reason that uh, I spoke to Mayor Potem, Lenny Sanchez, and he would like to be here and, uh, and, and voice his concerns in regard to these firms that submitted it. Okay. And, that's, and that's for A, and I don't know, you want to go ahead and read B or? 
Uh, yeah, I can, since I can since it, 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 it does with the same. Sure. The other one is just consider selecting an engineering firm, mm -hmm. authorize city manager to enter into a contract agreement for engineering services, RFQ 19-17-04-06. Yeah, same thing. That's my same. Table both? Both, and then we'll come back and take I, care of them. I second that. It's been second. It's a big dollar project, so yes. Yeah, well, he just for the record, he did ask if we can just go ahead and. Oh, yeah. Right. I, 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 I yes, there's yes. a motion. second. Yeah. But I yeah. need a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. We'll go ahead and table that for the next mm -hmm. meeting, sir. The next item uh, under consent agenda, we have item A, B, C, and D. Notice that uh, you can pull any of these items should you make any, have any questions on those. It's consent agenda, same as the previous uh, meeting. At this time, is there anything that we need to modify or amend under consent agenda? Okay, on, yes, Mayor, on uh, letter B, uh, the owners of uh, Mangonazzi is here. They just wanted to clear out uh, with uh, Mr. Escobar on the hours. Um, was it uh, after five or? Okay. Well, Is there summer school? No, no summer school going it's, on. It's home. It's all virtual. It's virtual. Okay. That's I, I don't see a problem. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yes, sir. As long as there's no school, any kids present at their. Yeah, it'll be fine. So. No problem. Well, Sunday have to be after twelve. After twelve. Okay. Okay. No, go we'll ahead. We'll no, we'll, oh, no, no, no. It's just a yeah, okay, cage. it's fine. Okay. okay, so that is an amendment, right? Yes. We'll go ahead and amend that. Okay. With that being said, is there a motion to approve? Been second? Second by Mr. Riga. Is that a motion, Commissioner, for the entire consent agenda? Yes. Okay. For the entire consent agenda. Okay. Okay, guys. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Is there a second? All those in favor say aye. Aye. This meeting has been adjourned at 628 p.m. Thank you.